No one answered at Kenneth Gasper's home in Lake Ronkonkoma. The 64-year-old was arrested earlier this week, charged with aggravated harassment after allegedly making a telephone death threat to Congressman Andrew Garbarino. In the world that we're living today, the climate that we is out there, these threats we take very serious. The threat, according to police, stemmed from a recent vote on the infrastructure bill. Garbarino was one of 13 House Republicans who supported President Joe Biden's $1.2 trillion bipartisan bill. But Gasper didn't agree, called the congressman a rhino, short for Republican in name only, and used an expletive vowing to, quote, kill him if he sees him in the street. The retired LIRR employee who has no prior arrest surrendered himself to police and pleaded not guilty in court. He was remorseful in the fact that he, he knows what he did, um, but it, it's too late. For us, he's crossed that line already. Garbarino and other Republicans who voted for the infrastructure package have been attacked by fellow members of the GOP and constituents. However, longtime congressional member Peter King, who retired last year, said he would have voted for the legislation. He took to Twitter, calling the death threat disgraceful. For his part, Garbarino said in a statement, Unfortunately, there's been so much misinformation circulating, and it's causing a lot of anger and confusion. But the truth is that the infrastructure bill is not the reconciliation bill. It's about paving roads, repairing bridges, and bringing jobs to Long Island. Political analyst Larry Levy called the congressman's move smart. Unlike a lot of his colleagues around the country who voted against it but are going to try to show up for ribbon cuttings, he can say with a straight face that I did support this. I'm not just trying to take credit for what others did. Gasper was released on his own recognizance with a temporary restraining order. He's due back in court on November 24th. In Garden City, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News. And the attorney representing Kenneth Gasper released a statement saying in part, Ken never made any threat. He will plead that he is innocent.